How's it going, guys? Now more here again. Uh, back with some updates to the reselling stuff. Um, I've I, I keep recording stuff and then not having enough for the video. I can't remember the last time I update talked to you guys officially. Um, but I have officially gotten my business license. I have done well stuff I need to actually file for business. And this weekend, I went out thrifting for the first time, kind of since quarantine, and. I found so much stuff. I spent like half my business budget already, but it's all good stuff. It should all sell well. Let's go through some of it. I listed some yesterday. We'll go look at that later, but let me walk you through what I got. So this first bag here is from Goodwill. Uh, they, it's actually the Belgrade location. They never get games, but they had just a ton. Sorry, it's Battlefront, Harry Potter Half-Blood, Deathly Hollows, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Nine Nine Knights, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10, that's like a $15 sports game, Dragon Ball Rising Blast 2, and Grand Theft Auto 5. I paid $1.80 for each of those. Uh, also, a bunch of AV cables for VCRs, because I found some of those and needed them. And this, uh, Jigsaw puzzle, it was two bucks. I did, couldn't look it up. The internet's so bad, the Belgrade one, but I took a risk on it. It's brand new sealed. Then inside here is a wee bundle I got for 75. I can get it out one handed. It's got the Wii in the box, a couple racing reels, uh, the Wii Fit board, and. Some games, Mario Kart, We Party, both those great. New Super Mario Bros. good too. Just Dance is not bad right now. We fit with the board, pairs up well. And uh, I think some extra controllers in the box. It has both the Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resorts and the Motion Plus. So the Wii itself should sell for, I think, around 130 is what the prices I was looking at. So 75 for all that. Gonna be great. And then to continue that story, another Wii bundle from a pawn shop. This was uh, 50, it was marked 75. It's got all the cables, the controller, Wii Sports and New Super Mario Bros. disc only. And then for some games, I got Wii Speed Carbon, Shrek Smash and Crash Racing, uh, Copy Connect Adventures, I just need one for a Connect. Um, and Call of Duty Black Ops. And then this was count as one game. It's the Bioshock Ultimate Rapture Edition. But inside is also copies of Soul Calibur V and Diablo Ultimate Evil. As well as the stuff for the Bioshock collection. So that game I didn't even look up. I know that one's worth more than four bucks. And everything else was kind of worth it. Except for Connect Adventures, but I needed it. Then another Wii. <laughs> This one was an active 30, I got it for 15, two nunchucks, and copy D for Speed Carbon for two. And the Belgrade Goodwill. This one might be one of my not as good purchases. Um, I got a carbon monoxide alarm and this draw poker. They're five each, so 450. Um, those are both worth it. The problem is I got this as well for four fifty. the DS charger. Um, this should have been a cable. It should have been only a dollar, but it's, it's fine. It's not that bad. Next up from the first store, these games are all two fifty. I think they were worth it. Lego Star Wars 2, Spider-Man, and NHL hits. Um, empty CD cases. I've got a lot of disc only games, so I need these for shipping. And then three PlayStation controllers, uh, an original one, a uh, DualShock, and a PS O&E, uh, blue. I've never seen this one before. Uh, th these are all half off on Saturday. Then for the games locally, uh, paid five bucks a piece for these. Uh, Aliens vs. Predator, Ninja Gaiden E, Minecraft, Godfather 2, and then disc only, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I believe all those are worth it. Um, Godfather 2 might be on the low end. And then another thrift store, uh, Wii. It was marked at 30, which I thought for no cords, I think it's kind of high. 
Um, it has a disc inside it though, and I have extra cables and controllers. And Wii's kind of really hot right now, so I figured, eh, I could take the risk on it. And if the game decides to go, then I'll be like bonus profit. But the Wii itself, it should be profitable. And then up here, before we get to that big box, uh, for Fifth Store, this boxed micro cassette recorder from Radio Shack. It looks brand new in there, so I'm hoping that'll sell well. Then from another Goodwill, Bozeman, I got some printer ink and a disc only copy of Red Dead Revolver and PS2. Uh, paid... Oh, I'm so sorry. Please be okay. Okay. Oh, anyways, I paid a dollar eighty and a dollar for those. And then this probably was a one bad uh, poncho I buy that I definitely is half my mistake, but it's kind of the guys. There's this one poncho in Belgrade. I feel like I always get cheated. They just never really work with me that well. And I thought they finally did. Like they had these two Vitas from before quarantine. This one marked a one fifty with no charger. This one at 130, it's the Model 2, so it uses USB. Or I might have those backwards, but yeah, no chargers, nothing for them, like one game inside of them. And I was like, hey, what if I bought both? What do you do for me? And he said 175, which would have been a good deal. But I didn't realize I charged, or I like slid my credit card and stuff. He charged me 275, which is $5 off. I'm really hoping these actually don't work so I can return them because. I feel ripped off. Um, and also got a uh, disc only SmackDown versus Raw 2010 for five. That should be worth it. Um, yeah, got screwed over the Vitas. Hope they don't work so I can return them. I got the receipts. And then finally, one last good pawn shop deal. I got two games, Generation Zero and Skyrim Special Edition. 10 bucks a pop, not great, but should be profitable still. And we got a Wii U. This is the Zelda edition. Can't really show that. Uh, 2DS, a 360, and a PS3 Super Slim. Um, he worked with me on all these consoles, so I should make some good profit on them. I have to test them, make sure they all work and stuff. So I'm trying to get to that because my return rate for defective is seven days. So. I need to get working on all this, um, but I'll probably bring, I'll bring you guys upstairs, show you the other cool stuff I picked up. This is one of the other bundles I got. It's uh, Xbox 360, the Kinect, two controllers, some games. It's got a 250 gig hard drive. I paid 88 for it. It's kind of high end. Um, probably didn't pay too much for it, but it was a online auction site. I kind of just was bidding too aggressively. Um, I got another Wii bundle, but that's kind of all put away, so it's hard to show. And the other cool thing I got, this is personal stuff. I got a Magnavox Odyssey 2 console. And it's 18 games, one's a duplicate. It's got this voice adapter. That's like 30 bucks on its own. I paid 40 for everything. Uh, needs some modifications though to work. Like it, <laughs> I can't cook up to any of my TVs, so that's kind of a separate thing. So yeah, uh, pretty good find this week. Let's. I got a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get to it. So much to my surprise, this Xbox fully worked. Um, <laughs> it was in a bin. It was super dusty. I totally expected I'd have to try to fix it somehow, but. Test everything and it worked great. That's always a nice surprise. I've had a some bad luck with 360s recently. I think last four of the last five had or three of the last five had issues. So nice to get one that just works right out of the box. Just needs some cleaning. All right, so back in the garage and I'd been doing a lot of listing. Took a little break to walk the dog and make dinner. And also earlier, I went out and got another lot of stuff. Um, we got. Xbox 360 250 gig with the Kinect. It's all in the box. I think there's an even extra controller. Unless it comes with two. I'll double check that. Um, got some PSP games as well. These by the Jet Best 2 GTA. Everything else is kind of filler and stuff. The Xbox games, kind of the same situation. Uh, I don't know what the best one was. 
The games are very great. Um, Halo Reach, obviously, is probably the best one. And Black Ops, that's... That one sells decently well. Um, and also had a GBA ST uh, 001 model. A couple games with it as well. And that'd be Steelers Strategy Guides. Um, I'll, I don't think I'll sell them to, with the games. I think I'll probably sell them separately. And actually, uh, that's Spice City. And I think I'm Chinatown War. So I would, I'll sell them separately. Ooh. I just fell out of one of those. That's not good. Well, I'll double check that. Oh, God. Everything's going wrong. <laughs> um, oh, there's a, yeah. PSP system as well. I paid 120 for everything. And the system will sell on Amazon for about that. Maybe even after fees. I don't know. The, I've been selling the 250 gigs on their own for uh, 130 about. So maybe with the Connect I can get 150. I'm not sure. We'll check it out though. So another great lot. Um, I've tackled a few things. I still have a, to box up my Xbox 360. I'll do that. And then keep working my way back this way. Oldest to newest. So I'll probably start in this pawn shop Wii and stuff. I really want to check out that Wii, see what game's in there, but maybe we'll get that to that tomorrow. Alright guys, it is 10 p.m. I'm gonna stop for the night. I'm pretty tired. But I'm just gonna do one last thing. I wanna see what this game is in this Wii, this mystery game. See if it's anything good. I'll show you that now. Gonna be oh three sports hell yeah perfect that's a beautiful game that pays for the Wii all right oh end on a good note well thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed be sure to like comment subscribe all that jazz I'll be back with uh, another video this weekend probably uh, what's sold.